world of you. AFA Today. And coming to you live uh, from New York, as we do each weekday, thank you for uh, being part of the uh, midday get-together where we discuss news and the uh, headlines of the day and uh, all that is uh, happening. Uh, it is uh, AFA Today, your uh, midday check of what is going on and where we're at. Uh, and uh, so thank you very much. Uh, 888-589-8840. Uh, we were just talking about the uh, story that I discovered this morning in which the American um, uh, government is going to sit down with the Taliban, uh, according to the Taliban, in coming days, within days, uh, in their new office in uh, Qatar, their their new, uh, you know, digs. Uh, they, they've left the caves. They are now living in uh, in high rises in uh, Qatar and opening up uh, marketing offices. Uh, so we're going to go over there and meet with them. Uh, I, government officials are confirming this. Uh, we will take your calls on that. Um, I also wanted to point you to a resource. Uh, I tell you all the time that a lot of the stories we use are from onenewsnow.com, but maybe you would like to be in contact with us directly. Uh, there is a uh, new URL I want you to, to take note of, afatoday.com. afatoday.com will connect you with the Facebook page that is associated with AFA Today, and everything that we will cover on this broadcast, including all the stories, we will have links there for you. Uh, so that you can go and read them for yourself. Of course, a number of those are going to come from One News Now. But frequently, there will be other uh, stories and other things that you'll want to be aware of. So afatoday.com is where you can go and uh, check that out. That's afa, the word today, dot com. Pretty simple. And then while you're there, like us and become a regular uh, contributor online to the discussion. We would uh, love to chat with you in the off-show hours about things that are on your mind. If you go there today, you will see another story that I have posted, and it's good news out of Pennsylvania. I'll tell you what that is before we're done today as well. First, though, more of your calls on what is going on with the Taliban. Let's go next uh, to uh, Ed calling from Little Rock, Arkansas. Ed, you're up next on AFA Today with Kevin McCullough. Glad you're here. Let's go. Ed, are you there? I done. Good. Thanks for uh, being here. What's your thought on... Uh, the U.S. sitting down at the negotiating table with the Taliban. Well, recently in the news, they they got all upset because they had already done this once before in France, and they didn't want to admit to it. And um, I think they announced it like in the middle of the night the last time it happened. But uh, this particular time, uh, I got trucks all over the country, and I've noticed that people are just not paying attention. They're not caring. Mm. Mm. And I think that... Um, the United States, I know this is kind of odd, but I just wonder if we know that, we, that these guys are, are there, if we're going to have them in one place, why do we not do something, you know, affirmative? I mean, everybody's going around asking questions. I do the same thing. We're going around asking questions. We know what we're saying when we're asking the question, but our government officials and our government officials know what we're asking them and and they know that we don't want this to go on but they just continue to do what we don't want and this president seems to be just snubbing the idea that the people don't want to get involved in this manner and so i'm wondering where the judicial system is in all this don't we have an oversight judicial committee that can do something about what this cat's doing well, or, well uh, there's no there's no court that can say anything about this uh, thank you for the call Ed. there's not there, there isn't a judicial um, branch that has oversight here uh, but there would be uh, committees in Congress that would have some oversight on this and it was probably a very good idea to alert your congressman and your senators to your feelings about us sitting down at the negotiating table with the Taliban uh, 202-224-3121 is the phone number for you to do that at, uh, 202-224-3121, 202-224-3121. Um, that's probably the best way to uh, let your voice be heard, and hopefully you have uh, elected representatives that are responsive to what you, as their employer, uh, have to say to them. You really do need to understand uh, the, the concept is very simple. That they're not over us. They're not. They're not some king or dictator or tyrant. They don't have the ability to look down on us. We hire them. They work for us. We fire them every two, four, or six years, depending on the post that you uh, go to. 
888-589-8840. More of your thoughts on this. Let's go to Timothy calling from Kentucky. Uh, Tim, welcome. You're on with Calvin McCullough on AFA Today. Glad you're here. Oh, hi. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to say that I would rather have the Taliban over this Karzai government that has to know that it's allowing these, uh, you know, whatever, uh, you know, evil soldiers to get in next to our guys and kill them. Uh, my family's a military family, and I can't stand having Karzai's corrupt government let this stuff go on. And at least, you know, with the Taliban, you know, the worst evil is the evil that tries to look good and does a good job of it, that'd be Karzai. At least the Taliban, what you get is what you, you know, you pay for. So, so you're all you're all fine with the resubjugation of women and uh, the no, stamping I'm, I'm out of fine. religious liberties and and those types of things. Because that's probably that's that. probably Tim. That's probably what you get if you bring the Taliban back into power. Uh, yeah, I know, I know. Um, but it's is an extreme. Uh, Tim, your phone's breaking up, and I'm so sorry because it sounds like you've got something good to say. Are you are you still there? Uh, yeah, I, I can hear you. I'm, okay, I I'm, you, you're you're clearer now. Go ahead, re say what you were just trying to say. Oh uh, yeah, well, you know, oh man, this is this is horrible. I'm so sorry, Timothy. I uh, I really did want to hear what. You, just the minute you started talking, it just started. Um, turning into metallic hash on the air. 888-589-8840. Let's go to uh, Richard, who's calling from Mobile, Alabama. Hi, Richard. You're on with Kevin McCullough on AFA Today. Yeah, I think uh, Obama could shoot John Boehner right in the head on the White uh, House steps and get away with it. He can do anything he wants. He's doing anything he wants. Um, anybody that's got any common sense knows this is insane. Uh, I don't understand why people don't realize that, you know, this is judgment on us here. I mean, God's judging this country. That's why we got leaders like this just going, you know, doing whatever they want to because the people have turned against God in this country. I mean, you know, 48% still believe he's okay to do what the IRS just did to us. I mean, it's insane to to not not see the handwriting on the wall. If this is it, you better get saved. You better get your life right with God because our enemies are taking over, period. All right, Richard. I appreciate your call. I, I wish I could say that I didn't know uh, too many people that had that kind of outlook. But I, unfortunately, uh, what Richard has said, I've heard lots of people say that's what they feel like in recent days. Uh, and it's hard to argue with them when you see the headlines coming out of Washington, D.C. Uh, let's go to uh, Robert in Temple, Texas. Hey, Robert, you're on with Kevin McCullough on AFA Today. How are you? Hey, Kevin. The uh, conjecture that you are betraying that everyone in the, that is make up the Taliban is supposed to be the same as the people that tried to kill us, meaning that the new blood, some of the new blood couldn't be better than some of the old people that we killed, is really saddening to think that people don't change. You're, you're treating them like they're not people, like they're just, you know, these monsters everywhere. They're people. They have the same lives that we have. They want better things for their children like we do. So when you make conjectures that everyone thinks the same and are the same, that's a poor statement to say about being a Well, Christian. Robert, hold, hold on a second. You, you may be right, but let's think this through one, one piece at a time. The Taliban is composed of 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 what human beings? Yes. Okay, and they and they gather together, surrounded by what what in common? What what brings them together in common? Their faith, just like ours. A, a belief system. Right. Uh, Taliban Taliban are not just Muslims. They are they are Muslims that have a very specific worldview, and they believe that uh, the world should be run a certain way. How do we know what their beliefs are? Well, they, they've espoused them. They've put them in writing. They've issued fatwas. They've written things down on paper. They've signed their names to it. Uh, if, if you are an independent Afghani and you don't identify yourself as a Taliban, then I don't necessarily um, think of you one way or the other. But once you take on the label of Taliban, you are an Afghani that believes a certain set of beliefs. So in my mind, if you are, uh, unless the Taliban says we believe different things now, which we have no evidence to believe that they do, I think that we are right to expect 
that the people that said they believed certain things still believe those things until they say they no longer believe those things. Well, years ago, we believed in dunking people's heads into, you know, putting a stone on their foot and throwing them in the water. And if they floated, then they weren't of the devil. So, you know, if you... Robert, I don't, I, don't, I don't know any uh, world history teacher that will tell you that any Western civilization ever practiced that. Oh, you, you're trying to tell me that the, the Salem witch hunts were, were, were not of Christian origin? Robert, why do you not believe that the Taliban are the same as they were before? All I'm telling you is that... What, what, what evidence do you have? I just am curious to know. What evidence do you have that they are not the same people that subjected women and kept children from education? All I can tell you is that I know that people change. And if your Christian beliefs will make your Christian beliefs, if Jesus was here today, which you, we like to espouse all the time... He would sit down with his enemies and say, hey, look, this is the way to peace. So if you want... Robert, peace, I, think, I don't think Jesus would say anything like that. I think Jesus would sit down with you and me at the same table and say the same thing. You guys are lost and on your way to hell, except for me. Except for Jesus. You, We're lost I, and are on our way to hell. And there's nothing we can do to change that. Only Jesus has the power to change that. There's, no, there's nothing in our power. We don't, humans don't become better human beings. Left to our own devices, absent God's presence in our life, we become worse human beings. You, uh, Kevin, all I can tell you is that people, people in America change every day. They change because they, they do better because of God that's in them. So there's God in everyone. You just have to do better and be no. better. So no, if you God, 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 the Holy Spirit lives in those that have invited him in. But God, 